Howdy, everyone. My name's Nicholas, and welcome to the Headliner Pod Pod. We're a show about podcasts featuring podcasts by podcasters that's hosted by people who help podcasters with their podcasting. On each episode, a few of us folks over at Headliner sit down to play a game that centers around listening to randomly selected clips from over 500 episode submissions we've gotten from podcasters. Why? Well, in order to find what we call zero. Here are the rules. Each lucky contestant will hear a 60-second podcast clip. They'll then need to pick the correct podcast title from a lineup of three choices before being shown the artwork for that show. Before we get the show on the road, though, let's say hi to each of our contestants for today. Starting with Christy. Hello, let's go. Was that a question or a statement? It's it's <laughs> it's all. It's okay. all of it. That's good. That's just economic. Next up, we have Jesse. Hello, hello. And Pratik. Hey, everyone. Yep, we're running a skeleton crew today. And of course, we also have Alyssa as our producer with an ad read. Hi, everyone. So, Headliner automatically creates and uploads podcast clips to TikTok. Just like we do for YouTube, Headliner's TikTok automation will even pull in all those little details. Using your RSS feed, Headliner will create optimized captions to help boost your SEO while also making for an easy content flow. To see how it works or to create an automation, visit make.headliner.app and click the automatic audiograms button. All right, cool. Thank you for that. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Christy, would you like to go first today? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, great. Counting on you. Don't, don't do that. Well, too late. I've already done it. <laughs> I guess I'll just use this. I don't have anything cool today. I had trouble like with the needing in part at first because like I'm I was so used to like doing things on my own. But eventually I got more open to it and like I've grown a lot. Like how have you grown? As far as like take care of my business, like learning new life skills and saving, I would say is a big part of it. Like I had a big problem saving and they really got on to me about saving and everything and like just becoming an adult. Is there anything else you would like to communicate with any other youth or just any last thoughts? I would tell them not give up and don't be afraid to like ask for help. Like, cause like that was a big problem I had. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Like everyone needs help. Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. Thank you, Jeremiah, for speaking with me. Um, All right. There was your clip. All right. And here are your options. Number one, counting on us. Number two, growing pod. Number three, get inspired with an exclamation point. So just imagine I just shouted that at you. Like I'm telling you to get inspired. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go with the growing pod. Okay. We talked a lot about growth, feeling it. All right, so unfortunately, Growing Pod was incorrect. I ah! tried to be like really obvious about it. Like I said, I'm counting on you. And the correct answer was counting on us. So Okay, cool. All yeah. right, all right. I get it. I see where, so I see where y'all going. Yeah, um, I'm trying Jesse, to do like Jesse, a write that code down. thing. Where I He's give using his hints. words this time. They're using the <laughs> words this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So speaking of Jesse, well, first off, let's learn a little bit about this show, shall we? This is from episode 12, Knowing When to Ask for Help, and here's our show description. Now in our community, children and families are facing an array of social problems, diminishing resources, and increased responsibilities. Often they're looking for hope and a brighter tomorrow. In Counting on Us, we share the stories of those who have found the inspiration to push forward and overcome the challenges of their lives, like gaining independence, building a family, and healing from trauma. Join producer and host, Daniel Trevino, and learn how they beat adversity with the support and guidance of ACH's team of caregivers and professionals. Listen now and get inspired. That too had the exclamation points. Just once again, I, I shouted that at everybody right now. So there you have it. There's our first show of the day. And I actually really like the artwork. I'm just realizing now that like the design on the left side of it that's orange is actually a hand reaching out to another one which is so cool. I didn't see that at first. I thought it was just like a lava lamp design or something at first, which made no sense, but whatever. 
anyway, let's just dive over to Jesse for our next one. Are you ready to go now? I'm ready. Okay. If they don't, you know, go out to, to eat or something, someone else makes it for them and, and they can actually do it themselves. That's why I always talk about Trader Joe's a lot. Whole <laughs> Foods too, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> their lifestyles up to themselves but both of them. there is one episode someone brought up the other day that you guys really should see but you have to dig back to uh christmas like two years ago i think i did an instagram live i haven't been doing it lately but i did an instagram live while cooking christmas dinner it is so ridiculous and then by the end of it i never even showed what my mom thought of it i just talked about it because she just was like yeah it's fine <laughs> After like hours of cooking, and I I had like everything caught on fire. I had a fire in the kitchen. My cats are in the back watching. Uh, it. It, I did costume changes. It was really funny. This and then sounds... there's another one for the holidays where my cat found a bug in the tree. All right, there was our clip, and I'm sorry. Wait, so if if I'm understanding this right, there's a podcast episode where there was like a kitchen fire during it. That sounds really interesting. I kind of want to check that out. Um, anyway, here are your options for today, Jesse. Number one, 90s nostalgia. Number two, 90s to now. And number three, as if everything 90s to now. Ooh, that's kind of. So, so I'm seeing a theme. We have 90s to now here. Are there any mm -hmm. any special words that you would like to provide me with, Nicholas? Any any? You'd like to give it away. Sure. Subtlety. <laughs> Something I do not have. Take that I, and do with it as you will. I'm really liking the last one. As if uh 90s to now. Is that the correct is that the correct title that you said for number three? Yeah, that's the correct title I said. Is that your answer? I think so. I'm liking it. It's kind of long. It's it uses another another title from the lineup so i think this is i think this is a good choice for you trying okay. to confuse me i just want to call out how much i like the title also because i just like the colloquialism as if there's no yeah. way to say that with a straight face you have to be sassy like as, as if. if yeah uh, there is an exclamation point so once again i did yell it um, <laughs> that's just the thing now unfortunately though you are incorrect it was just 90s to now and good riffing on your part, man, because, yeah, I did actually use the word now when I asked if you were ready. So sorry about that. But yeah, here's a bit about this episode. It's from the episode entitled Charles in Charge star Josie Davis returns to chat about her success road podcast and more. And the show description is hello and welcome to 90s to now. Did your favorite TV shows, movies, music, and memories come from the 90s? You're definitely not alone. So subscribe to our Friends Forever YouTube club for awesome conversations with your favorite stars about the stuff we all love from back then and what they've been up to since. Plus games, giveaways, and more. So, cool stuff all around. Yeah, just interesting. Jumping on over, Pratik, would you like to go next? Let's do it. All right. Oh, look, Bobby, it's the Poop Patrol. <laughs> I'm waiting over here. Damn. Oh, man, what did you eat, dog? Oh. A time when the leaves begin to turn beautiful hues of orange and red and yellow. Oh. Until you have to break them in the rain because you put it off for a week and your mom will let you go to the homecoming dance by yourself until you break every damn one of them. Happy? Would, would you would you like to dance? <laughs> okay. But the best part of fall is anything and everything pumpkin. There's nothing more warm and comforting than a frothy pumpkin spice latte or a, a slice of pumpkin pie with a big dollop of whipped cream and a dusting of freshly grated nutmeg. And oh, all right, all right, stop, stop depressing. It, 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 it's, it's not, it, this is a podcast, not a newspaper. Yes, yes, I, I know, I know, I know. Shut, shut. Jeez, bite my head off. Okay, there was your clip. I think the next thing that happened is he did get his head bit off. Anyway, here are your options, Pratik. Number one, National Day Riff. Sketch comedy. Number two, Knock Knock. Riff. Number three, Laugh It Out Comedy Pod. 
no idea. Let's go with the last one, laugh it out, comedy pod. Okay, so unfortunately, you are also incorrect. And I did use the word again earlier. The correct answer was National Day Riff Sketch Comedy. So, yeah, really sorry. I do like their logo. That's that's kind of neat. I don't know. You don't really see stuff like that every day. But uh, anyway, here's a bit about this show from the episode. The clip was from the episode The Great Pumpkin Spice Conspiracy, and it's a rerun, so it's labeled Encore. And our show description is politically incorrect, tastefully inappropriate sketch comedy for your ears. Every day in the U.S. there is something to celebrate, and it's our job to poke fun at it. From Lost Sock Memorial Day to sneak some zucchini into your neighbor's porch day, anything and everything is fair game. Available wherever you get your podcast fix. Hosted by Sean Michael Bayer and starring the voices of Nick Pascal, Adam Carbone, Angelica Hicks, and Michael Richard Thrasher. Which might be the coolest last name I've ever heard. Genuinely. Petition to legally change my name to that, you know. Okay, so y'all are three for three right now. That's fine, you know. We're like a factory. We're just going to keep going and going. Yeah, but not the good and... three for three, like the bad three for three. Yeah, you're three for three, like bad. You're you're in the negative three for three. You, thank you. I was you almost got a win out of that. Mm. Anyway, let's just try one more clip. You know, we'll just we'll listen really close and we'll see if you guys can get it working together. Oh, crap, Christy, did you? I I don't see it. You, oh. We are all good. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay. مرتبط شوية بما يعني بما إننا داخلين على خلاص رمضان يعني إحنا النهاردة أو يعني الحلقة دي عامة تاريخ نزولها 9 مارس 2024 ورمضان إن شاء الله طبعا هيكون 11 مارس اللي هو يوم الاثنين 2024 كل سنة وحضراتكم طيبين مبدئيا طبعا في حاجة هي ريليتيف برمضان وبرا رمضان كمان وهي فكرة حق الرأي والانتقاد في عمل الناس بتقول رأيها فيه بمنتهى الأريحية و... Okay There is your clip I hope you all listened closely There is the I odd hint in there I feel like we can guess this one without the, the choices Okay Yeah you want to go blind do it man Yeah I mean Shoot I from the hip Triple or nothing right now I just want to say just exactly. how utterly embarrassing it'll be if you guys get it wrong this way <laughs> I know <laughs> It's got to be Film Factory. Like, those are the only <laughs> words I am. I'm so, service, I'm so sorry. It's actually... Wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, it's Servicemen and Film Factory podcast. Mm. Servicemen? Film Factory. I don't know. I mean, you guys, you don't want the answer. So you got to, you know. You just There's gotta... definitely Film Factory in there. That's, yeah, Film Factory cool. was the end. I can't remember. It's some word that starts with an S, and I think I heard man. Because I, my ears weren't ready for English at that exact time that it happened. So it took me a minute to flip over from trying to distinguish what language we were in. It was but... Arabic for what it's worth. Yeah, okay. yeah I'm, I'm half Syrian and don't speak mm -hmm. the language. But yeah. All right. So what's what's this about service and something? I said Film Factory Podcasts or, yeah. or Film Factory Podcast. That's what I heard. Film Factory Podcast. Let's do it. All right. All right. You guys got me. It was Film Factory. And I know you guys only got it because I used the word factory at some point before. <laughs> yeah, I definitely heard that also. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's it's like it's it's the it's like a, a an old nineties puzzle game. That's the all you guys got. Yeah. It's so it's, good. <laughs> it's it's escape from Monkey Island. I don't know yes. what's happening. I just know I have to escape from the island. This podcast is is actually sponsored by Sierra. Yeah. Not to be I mistaken missed. with Sierra the drink. Yes. <laughs> No, Jesse, there was a game developer called Sierra. And their logo for the longest time, here's random trivia, was a dude with a faucet sticking out of his eye. Right? I think that was their logo. So I like be, similar no, that to was Valve? Valve? I'm thinking that about Valve, Valve, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, Valve. That was, that's yeah. Yeah. You're right. That makes a lot more sense, too, while I'm at it. Anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> here's a bit about this episode. 
This is from the last episode, The Right to Opinion and Criticism. And our description is, together we'll learn everything related to cinema and discuss topics and news related to industry developments. So there you have it, guys. I personally would love to listen to this podcast because I like movies, obviously. That's my whole gimmick. But yeah, I don't speak Syrian, so I, I can't. But, you know, maybe I'll learn the language someday and I'll come back. It was a pretty language. That was cool. Yeah, this could be my white whale. This could be the reason I have to learn Syrian so I can come back and listen to it. Anyway, with that all out of the way, you guys got one right today. I don't know how you pulled that off. Seriously, it just eludes me. And good on you for it. So let's see what happens next week. Thanks for playing and thanks to everyone for listening. So yeah, bye. (laughs) 